We in here, man. Holidays, weekends. Yo, Trying to take over. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. It's your boy C Marty Fit, and I'm back. We back on a podcast. We staying consistent with it, man. I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. But um, yeah, man. Welcome to the Less Brunches, More Crunches podcast. If this is your first time listening, if you listened before, thank you for coming back. And um, you know, I'm pretty much on one here. I'm spitting fitness facts, trying to help people, trying to reach out to as many people as I can, help them reach their fitness goals. This is what I love to do. This is what I'm passionate about. So let's lock in. Let's get it, man. So today's episode, um, we're going to, I, I, I made a list. We're going to talk about some of the top five reasons or some of the top five excuses that hold people back from breaching their goals, right? So uh, this episode is called So Does Everyone Else. Why did I name it that? Because nine times out of ten, or not even nine, Ten times out of ten, the excuse that's holding you back, somebody else had that excuse and they reached their goal, you know. So I got five reasons here. I'm probably going to go past five because, you know, I could talk about fitness all day, especially when it comes to people's excuses and not reaching their goals. But let's get it. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Number one, um, there are two different sentences, but it's pretty much the same thing. I don't feel like it slash I'm not motivated. Nobody is. Nobody is motivated to go to the gym every day. And like for myself personally, I work out six to seven times a week, uh, probably once or twice a week, maybe. Do I like feel like working out? I don't ever feel like working out. And those are the only because like I work out on a day I don't train any clients. Um, I'm, I'm going to just tell you this. You're not going to feel all pumped up and hyped to go to the gym, especially if you got a trainer like me or you follow on a strict program. It's normal. You're not the only one. Don't use that to stay in the bed, not reach your goal. Not a good excuse. Um, the people that reach their goals, the, whether whether they're a fitness influencer, a CrossFitter, the mom, the dad, uh, the guy that works at McDonald's, whoever it is reaching a fitness goal, they're not motivated. They don't feel like it. So uh, just a little wake up call for some of y'all that use that excuse is is not valid. I'm not I'm not rocking. My, I hear that from my clients, mm -mm, not having it, nope, alright, number two, I'm sore, everybody's sore, if you're putting in some, some effort, some type of work, if you're working efficiently, you will be sore, if you're being productive in the gym, you will be sore, the beauty of it is, we can work a different body part, you can come in, you did legs yesterday, let's do some upper body, you did upper body, let's do some legs. Oh, you did both? Let's do some core. Let's get some cardio in. Let's come in, do some cardio, let's stretch after it. Because stretching is an essential part of working out. Uh, we don't want to get injured. There's always a solution if you're sore, but you got to keep working. And another thing with soreness, um, you, you, it might, you might have done leg day. When it's time to do legs again three or four days later, you might have to work through some soreness or you want to be sore like that every time. So sometimes it's good to work through the soreness. Now, obviously, if it's unbearable and you can't do any more legs, don't do legs, duh. But, um, yeah, so uh, not rocking with the soreness. Get up, get your ass to the gym, all right? Number three, the food I'm eating is boring. The food you're eating got you to hire a personal trainer. It got you to get a mem gym membership because you don't like the results that you got from having fun eating. Newsflash, eating is not supposed to be this super pleasurable thing every day. Now, if you want to eat something that you're craving or something that you like every once in a while, eat it in moderation, cool. I do it just the other day. I just, I ain't going to tell y'all what I had, but I had a little cheat meal. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But it's, 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 it's perfectly fine, you know. Food is there to fuel us. It's to fuel us to give us energy to do the things we need to do throughout the day. Food is not, we're not supposed to eat what we desire daily. That is a recipe for disaster. That's why you hired me. That's why you're here. So, yeah, sorry you're not going to have fun eating every day, but any fit, healthy person is not eating food for fun. If you do want something sweet and tasty, you can always eat some fruit. 
fruit, there, there are tons. I, I, we all have a fruit that we like. If you don't like fruit, then we that's another issue we got to get past. But um, yeah, just, 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 it's eating something desirable and, and bad for you just because it's tasty and that's what you crave. Not an excuse. So uh, continue to eat the food that's boring so you can uh, work to your optimal performance in the gym. All right. Number four. I'm stressed. I'm just, I'm just, look, we all got real life problems. Everybody is going through some type of bullshit, right? Including myself. There are days when I show up to the gym, I don't feel like training. I'm, I don't even talk about the stuff I be dealing with and going through, especially with family sometimes. Um, I be stressed. Right? I'm not going to use that to give you a, a, a shitty session, um, have some low energy, like, no, you paying me, I'm here. So if I can go through my stuff and have good energy and show up on time with a good attitude, so should you. And I still, and I still work out on them days where, I, where I'm feeling bad. So if I can do it with my schedule, because your schedule probably ain't as crazy as mine, you can do it. Being stressed is not a reason to sit in the bed and skip your workout. And it's also scientifically proven that working out is one of the top ways to relieve stress. So if you're stressed and you want to get rid of the stress, why would you skip your workout? I can't tell you the amount of times I have people they are frustrated with work or frustrated with their spouse and they just, the solution for them is just not to come to the gym. If you want to feel better at all, you should be trying to do a two hour workout instead of one. You should be at the gym every day. Now, when I will say, just from experience, um, dealing with my stuff, like I said, we all deal with our bullshit. Dealing with my stuff, um, the more I work out, the, the, the more solution-oriented I become and the less I focus on the problems. I'm rarely stressed. Anytime I come to some type of issue, I figure out how to get out. I don't let the stress take me over. And a big part of that is working out. Um, I work out seven days a week. Obviously, every day is not intense. Some days might be 20 minutes, but I'm going to get up. I'm going to do some type of activity, break a sweat, something. And that's how I get my day started. Well, well on weekends, that's how I get my day started. But um, I feel a lot better. Um, I think you should do that as well. And lastly, I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't come. I'm tired. Look. <laughs> Yo, if you're if you're any type of productive human being, you're gonna be tired. <laughs> like I'm sorry, we're all tired. We're all adults. We are all tired. Get up, get your ass in the gym, and get to work. You're gonna be tired. You're gonna be more tired if you don't work out. Because another scientifically proven fact is that working out gives you more energy. The more I work out, the less I need to take a nap. Like, I'll just be energized throughout the day, when I'm, especially when you're eating healthy. That's another podcast. But, um, yeah, the, it's, it, that's scientifically proven. So, uh, tired is not uh, an excuse. Now, I've had clients, and I'm 50-50 I'm on this. I've had clients who might have had a bad night of sleep. Uh, like, the other day I had this one guy who said, I only got two hours of sleep, bro. That's why I didn't come to the gym. Like, but, like, it's been plenty of days, like, I couldn't sleep. And that workout is actually what got me through the day. Uh, the if you just if you just sit if you just sit around like you're not gonna have as much energy. So um, and there are people who you tired because you stayed up watching Netflix all night. You could have gone to bed three hours earlier. Go to bed. You knew you had this workout. Like I can't stand it. I have clients they come to the gym like hungover or they were out the night before. You knew before you went out that you had a workout schedule, boot camp, whatever it is. You had that schedule before you decided to go out. I don't care if you're tired, you are grown. You make adult decisions and you decided to be under the influence and not get sleep and show up and now you're lethargic and wasting my damn time. So a lot of the times you're tired is just bad decisions. Make better decisions. Now, are rest days necessary? Of course they are. Of course you should rest, right? But you got to earn the rest day. You don't just get a rest day and you ain't put no damn work in. All right? So earn your rest day. I'm tired is not an excuse. Five excuses in the gym. I just debunked them all. I don't want to hear it, especially if you're my client. 
Don't bring that to me. <laughs> so appreciate y'all listening to the podcast. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Any topics you want to hear, shoot me a DM on Instagram, C Marty Fit, Twitter, C Marty Fit, TikTok, C Marty Fit, and of course YouTube. You watching it right now? If you're on the video, C Marty Fit. I'll let y'all later. Let's get it. Let's get it. We in here, man. Holidays, weekends. <coughs> Trying to take over. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best friends in DMV.